anyway, I'm working on the shaft mount, or the sway bar mount, rather, for the uh, uh, ball joint mod, okay? So this is the piece that I had in here that, you know, I had tacked on originally, and, uh, you know, I checked everything, and it looks like everything is a go. Uh, the only thing I want to do is move that hole that way just a bit. So, got on CAD, drew it fairly close, then just by trial and error, uh, um, got it where I wanted it, basically. So, as you can see, it's it's pretty darn close. I got the, the lengths about right. This is going to change slightly. Uh, and I added a clearance uh, chamfer back here just to uh, make sure it clears the weld, you know, if it... Uh, when it mounts up like that just to make sure I, you know I could have made this thing a little bit shorter but it's uh, it's 120 wall uh, rectangular tubing and I just didn't want to uh, I want to keep it as beefy as possible kind of thing uh, I may opt to do it in uh, eighth inch and if I do that then I'll have to bend it myself but this is a piece of you know what it came out of originally so what I'm kind of hoping to do here is to just be able to Line that up, and then, uh, you know, mark it and cut it, basically. So what I'll do is I'll, that's at, that's at a bad angle, I'll cut two-inch sections out of the, uh, off of the bandsaw, and then I'll wrap this around and, and uh, cut that out. And I'll do at least one, see how I like it. This is the last piece of 2 by 4 I have, so I'll have to go get more, or, like I said, I'll just get a piece of uh, two-inch, eighth inch, two inch wide, eighth inch thick bar, uh, and then I can just, you know, cut the lens, I can cut the pattern, and then I can just bend it. Um, that just might be the the way to do it. Trying to uh, cut some of these things in here, you know, I'd have to do it with a cutoff wheel on that, instead of being able to do it on the bandsaw. This I could just cut out on the bandsaw. Uh, I could also have this part laser cut. I'm going to take a couple of scrap pieces and make myself a bending die. We're going to an inch and a half, so we still got a ways to go. All right, this is really all I'm uh, trying to do here. Get it on there. It's not uh, extremely sloppy. It doesn't really matter. I just need it to uh, fit on there somewhat close. So uh, now we'll go start working on the other piece. Well, I picked a different piece of metal. <laughs> it's uh, the correct width, and so then I cut it to the uh, cut it to the length and machined it down to what I want, inch and three quarters. Uh, and then I'm using a, a roundover bit put a radius on the end there. So there's two ways I could attack this. I can either put the outer diameter of the bottom here, even with this, and then keep dropping the the uh, z-axis down until I get uh, the height that I want. But instead what I did was I set the z-axis where I wanted it, and then I can easily have my hands on both wheels and move it a little bit in and run it back and forth. So I'll... Uh, not sure if I'll be in the way here for this, but...
So I cleaned it. I ground the burrs off, cleaned up a little of the uh, uh, mill scale and stuff like that around the backside here. Now the idea is, is that you know that's that's what I'm looking for is to create a bending die that will duplicate that shape. And the the radiuses may not be exactly perfect, but uh, you know way close enough. Uh, so that will be you know we'll push it down like that. Uh, on this bar stock and so you can see it's the same width here. Now this piece will go on top. Now I got to get it fairly centered and then I'll uh, I'll tack weld it. Um, but then as you can see it's going to be too wide so I'm going to mill the sides off there. I think it ought to be plenty strong enough. Um, and the other thing I'll probably do too is I'll probably just drill and tap a hole into the side here so that I can put a uh, thumb screw or something like that in there. A couple of tack welds here to hold it together, and then I can uh, machine the sides, and this part will almost be done. Still got to drill and tap a hole. I'll take a little probably hole. If not, uh, you know, I'd just weld it again. I think you might be able to see this. Basically what I'm doing here is I need to machine the sides flat there, okay? So I put a parallel underneath there to keep it parallel this way but then it rotates like this. So I can either put a parallel on here and just eyeball it on the front here and probably get it just as close as if I run the end mill down and eyeball it against that. Yeah, certainly close enough. I stick that in, I get my overhang. If I put the other parallel in here, I can just use it as the right angle to, uh, or almost anything, to push up against there and get it close enough. I should give you a little idea what I'm after. So now I got to make the female part of the die. This was the easy part.